Welcome to Informatica Video KB series. My name is Neeraj and today we will see how we can create a post call using a REST connector in Informatica Cloud. These are the steps that we are going to follow in this demo. First we will create a REST connection and then we will create two files. So the first file will have the absolute path of the second file which has the payload and then we will get the response of the call or or the output of the job in the response folder which we configure in the rest connection so let's start creating our connection so i will log into my informatica cloud Then I will go to connections, click on new, and we will create a REST connection here. We, we are using a login call, the login resource of Informatica Cloud. So I will say info login call and I will choose the connection type as REST. Now we have to choose our URL, that's the login call. So I'm going to the Informatica Cloud Developer Guide and if you go to Chapter 2, then login, this is the URL we are going to use. This is a REST resource, so I've copied it. I'll go here and paste it. And since it is a post call, I'll go and click on post. And in the response folder, we will configure the uh, folder name, the path of the folder which will have the response. So I'll go to my flat file location. I have created a response folder. I'll copy the path. I'll go back to cloud. Yes. In the config file name, we will create a config file. I will create, rename this config dot csv. So take this path, go back to cloud, paste it here, and I'll test the connection. So the connection was successful i'll click on ok so now our first step is done we have created a rest connection and we will start creating the task now before that we need two files in our flat file location i'll go to my flat file location and i will create two files here so i'll create two files first is uh, so I'll name my file as absolute file absolute path dot txt because this file will have the absolute path of the payload I'll show you what the payload is so I'll I'll create two columns here I'll create one more file which will have the payload. So I'll go this, I'll say payload.json. I have this is I have opened the payload file and copied the payload. So I can show you where to copy the payload. So this is the payload for the login call so login this was our URL and if you come down it will show you how to pass the payload so this is it so I have copied this thing in the payload.json file and here we have to provide the username and the password so I will provide a dummy username and the password 
Voilà. So username here. I think I did some mistake while copying it. Uh, go to my developer. Okay, password. All right. So this way. We have to get the exact thing from the developer guide and password i will take it from here the password is test user i'll paste this so this is our json payload i'll click on save so this json payload is been the file for the json payload has been created we got this payload from the developer guide we put the username and the password here and this file will be referenced in the absolute path.txt file so I've saved it. I will close this guy and let's close this. Go back to cloud. Before this, I'll just go uh, back to my flat file connection to see both the files. So this is the absolute path.txt file, which has this path is referencing to the payload.json file. And I will close this thing. So this is fine. And I'll just reopen my payload file. This also looks fine. So let me close this guy as well. And I think we should be good to create the task now. So I will say rest login call. So let me say rest post. This is our login call. I will say insert. And the source will be our REST connection, the connection which we create, oh, sorry, the, the source will be our flat file connection. So this is my flat file connection. And I will choose my absolute path.txt file. So if you see, the absolute path.txt file has the path of the JSON file. So I'll click on next, we'll go to the target and our target will be our login call. I'll choose the target object as login and directly I'll go to field mapping. In field mapping, we will map the payload. So this payload. The reason why I gave payload and then the path in, in the absolute txt file, I'll show you why I did that. So here, the reason why I mentioned payload is because we can use this payload then in the mapping, in the field mapping. So this payload, what we see here is actually coming here. So I have mapped it here and I will run this task. Let me close the file, otherwise we, can, we may get an error. Fine, let me just go to cloud and run the task. Our task is running. After the task completes, you will see the response in the response folder, which you have configured in the REST connection. So this was the way we can uh, do the REST post call using Informatica REST connector. And please let us know if you have any feedbacks uh, about the support. And please write uh, into us at supportvideos at informatica.com or you can also check out Twitter handle twitter.com slash info support. Thank you for today.